So for the person listening, Jeremy, that um, just feels like, okay, I hear you guys talking about spiritual formation and spiritual disciplines, but I just don't feel like I'm growing. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like I even know where to start. And I feel like I get up and I read my Bible or try to pray and I just feel dry. Mm-hmm. I know you've experienced those seasons. Yep. Um, what would be your encouragement to someone who's just feeling like, man, I just don't even know where to start. I yeah. want to grow in maturity, but I just feel like I'm helpless or yeah. unable. You know, I, I can tell you this, and, and this is anecdotal. It's based on my own experience. Whenever I come to those walls, I, I know that I just need to change. That, that, that's really what it comes down to. When I find my soul drying up, uh, I know that I need to change. My, my tendency, though, is to like be radical. Right, just to go full on extreme, and like I'm gonna do it all this week. I'm gonna fast and pray, and then I'm gonna take 40 minutes of silence, and then I'm gonna right. meditate, you know, and I'm gonna yeah. take a full Sabbath. Like, I, I want to do it all, but that generally is actually just overwhelming and ends up being oppressive. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say start small, you know, start actually by saying, okay. I recognize that my soul is drying up. I'm I'm going to I'm going to take a 40-minute walk once this week, and I'm just I'm, I'm going to leave my headphones behind, and I'm going to purposefully slow my pace down and enjoy creation. Give God praise for the trees, and as my mind wanders uh, around issues of family or friends or relationships, I'm going to lift them up and. As my mind wanders towards the things of God, I'm going to give Him praise for that. And just 40, you know, set aside one block of time in a week. And what you'll find is actually that begins to spread. You're like, man, that was so refreshing to my soul. The desire comes back to to let that grow. It's like an ember in a fire, and you you just start to want to you want to fan it into flame. You know. Yeah, two things that I think have always helped me. Um, one is, is uh, thankfulness. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that the disease of our generation is entitlement. And the antidote to entitlement is thankfulness. Yeah. I think that when, when I start to feel dry, it's often because I've started to assume that I deserve mm-hmm. something. Um, and instead of you know, thinking on dwelling on the riches that I have in Christ, Right. You know, and the riches that we have in Christ are hard because they're unseen. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can see some of the, the gifts of Christ, our family maybe, or our relationships with the church, or, or whatever, but the, the, the spiritual unseen realities of Ephesians 1 that are all hidden in Christ, you know, all of our treasure, right. which is ultimately God. Um, they're unseen, you know, but, but, but oftentimes I find if I just start thanking God for all of his gifts, yeah. it, it, it's, it's like the dry bones just come back to life. Right. Um, and then the other one is surrender. I just... I feel like oftentimes when I feel dry, it's because there's something in my life I am I'm not surrendering, mm-hmm. and that could be sin, that could be um, maybe an attitude, but but oftentimes even it's just um, control. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just I'm trying yeah. and trying and trying to control even my own spiritual maturity. I don't like not being able to control my spiritual maturity. I want to have the keys to my own spiritual growth uh, and development, but the funny thing is, is the only way through that door. Is the, is the key of surrender. Like, yeah. the, is to go, God, I, I don't have it. Yeah. Like, that's why I love that quote I mentioned earlier that Christianity is what you do when you realize you can do nothing. Right. Like, I grow when I when I admit and I give up and I go, okay, Lord, like, I tap. Like, yeah. I, I need I need you. And, and oftentimes that's the moment where he's like, okay, that's what I was trying to get you to learn. Yeah. And I, I think those seasons of dryness often God allows them to bring us into a place of dependence. You Without know, a doubt. Um, and, and that's why they're so healthy.